Hey, pussy, watch out, too. I'm playing you, and Nikki. For fuck's sake, never mind. The year was 2008, and on a certain Game Facts spin off board, one user had decided to undertake a dare. Huh? What the fuck? Manon, what the fuck is all this? Oh hi again, Cybermare. It's still you, mean Nikki. You're kidding, right? That game looks so boring. No, no, no. It's actually really deep and full of mysteries. It's about like... Actually, let me get a little more comfy before I continue. Hi, Internet lovers! In this episode, we're gonna look into the game Yumi Nikki and its relation to the Internet. Huh, I guess we're doing this now. Yumi Nikki, or Dream Diary in English, is an RPG Maker game released on June 26, 2004. It received a couple of dates for a few years, and the last version of the game is 0.10, released on October 1st, 2007. Yumi Nikki is a game where you play as Matatsuki, who might be a girl! Maybe? A lot of things are left to speculation because it's a very vague and mysterious game. When you enter Matatsuki's dreams, you have access to a bunch of doors leading to different dream worlds. All those potentially leading to deeper and other interconnected dream worlds. It's all a giant labyrinth. You have no clear goal or any story. You just wander around and look at stuff. There is close to zero text in the entire game and no dialogue at all. So, basically, this is literally just a walking simulator with nothing to do. Damn girl, I'm sure everyone watching is hyped as fuck to play this game now. Oh well, uh, something you could do is collect things called effects. Effects in Yumi Nikki are like transformations, they can affect gameplay like the bike effect or the knife effect, but they can also be cosmetic changes, like the blanket effect or the long hair effect. But other than that, the focus of the game really is just walking around. You're not doing this for any achievement or a score. It's all about what you'll see on your adventure. You're shown a lot of strange WT of things in worlds full of atmospheric energy, so the game usually sticks with you after playing. By the end of it, you're left wondering, what the heck was all that? Which is a sentiment a lot of people shared when playing the game. This sentiment, of course, united people to craft theories and try to understand the story behind Yume Nikki. Who is Nagatsuki? Why doesn't she want to leave her room? What's up with this girl and why does she transform into a creepy face when you play with the lights too much? Is Yume Nikki actually the creator's interactive dream diary? What did they mean by this? Nothing is known about the creator of Yume Nikki, except that they go by the name Kiki Yama. They kind of just dropped this cryptic game out of nowhere and never returned. We haven't heard anything from them in years. Some believe that all this lack of contact could be because Kiki Yama is actually not one, but a group of people. Or maybe that Kiki Yama is an alternate identity of an already known game developer. We'll very likely never know. Maybe they're dead. Since they haven't heard from them in years, you know? Yeah. It's spoopy to think about, but some fans believe that's possible. The hidden identity of the creator is even more to the mysterious atmosphere of the game. You mean Nikki became such a cult classic over the years that it inspired many great indie games. Undertale being the most popular example, Toby Fox used both sprite in the Earthbound Halloween hat, and he also mentions Yumi Nikki in Indie Live Expo as part of the games that have inspired him. Omori is a more recent game that has very similar moments to Yume Nikki. You can even find the creator drawing fan arts and tweeting about it years ago. They seem to really love it! Another example of the Lisa RPGs, which started with Lisa the First, a game very close to being a Yume Nikki fan game. Traditional Yume Nikki fan games are not about making a game with Yume Nikki characters. Those type of fan games do exist! For example, Dream vs. Dream, Yume Card, or Yume Nikki Jensu! A traditional Yume Nikki fan game is more about using Yume Nikki's formula to create new characters in new dream worlds. The most popular examples are Yume Nikki and Upflow. Yume Nikki expands on Yume Nikki with lots of new characters, new effects to collect, quality of life improvements, and a dream world that is ten times larger! Dot 
Flow is also one of the most famous fan game for being fully completed and being a lot spoopier than the original. It's pretty rare for a fan game to have so much content. Most of them tend to only receive a couple of dates. But this is because the Yume Nikki formula is something easily reproducible, especially in RPG Maker. It is also very prone to tickle anyone's imagination. So to this day, you have over 300 traditional fan games, all being listed on the fan game wiki. There's even an annual game gem for everyone who wants to make a fan game during a limited time. The Yume Nikki community is thriving in fan games, but it's also got a ton of animations, music, its own image board, and recently, they even managed to turn Yume Nikki into an MMO game. Wait, wait, wait. So, what you're trying to do right now with all this bullshit on the walls is like, solving this game story. No, no, no. Everybody's been doing that for years now. But I think outside the box, and with the help of my internet knowledge and expertise, I'm gonna find out Kikiyama's real identity! What? Yeah! And everybody will know the truth about Kikiyama and Yume Nikki! By doxing them, Manon, there's so many things wrong with this. And FYI, I've been on a pretty cool lead for a while. All I need is one more clue, and I know where to find it. I hate shit shit. Come on, not stop right now. But why though? You gotta like, respect people's anonymity. You like anonymity, don't you? It's even part of your name. People want to know the truth about Kikiyama and their game. That's far more important. But if we get a definitive answer, then all the mystique of the game will be gone. Why do you care so much so suddenly? You're usually all about not caring about anything. I don't care about, like, Yumi Dicky. I don't know. ARGs and, like, scattered storytelling is cool. And I feel like you're ruining the magic of all of that kind of shit by harassing creators and sharing their private information. Kikiyama is a person, not a puzzle for you to solve. Mm -hmm. It's so fun to try to figure stuff out! So you agree that making theories is fun? Yeah! Well then, if every answer to you made Nikki was already given by the creator, there would be no point in theorizing anymore. Mm hmm? Just, don't ruin you made Nikki for everyone else, please. Okay, I get it! Guess nobody will know the truth behind you made Nikki! But what if I keep the info to myself, though? No way, dude. So TLDR, I want people to speculate about my game too. That's why I'm gonna make my own spoopy, mysterious Yume Nikki fan game. It's just gonna take a while to learn the engine though. I don't know anything about RPG Maker. Hmm. Hey, I know how to use RPG Maker. Whoa! Epic! I didn't know you had RPG Maker knowledge! Can you teach me? Can you, can you, can you please? Okay, okay. If you just stop being annoying for a sec, I'll teach you what I know.